Happening tonight, there's a showcase aimed at highlighting the work of black filmmakers in the tri-state. We're talking about the first ever Cincinnati Black Director Showcase. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Audley spoke to organizers about why the event is so important. When you watch a movie from a different culture, if you don't understand or get it, then sometimes you don't have that person to interact with. That's part of the reason Cincinnati filmmaker Cam Marshall decided to organize tonight's Cincinnati Black Film Director Showcase. The event will feature four short films written and directed by black artists, including Marshall's film Holy Zombie. <laughs> the audience will be able to ask questions and learn about the projects too. It's all taking place at the Esquire Theater in Clifton. Each film is unique and different in their own right, and that's important to me because I think People don't realize that, you know, black people don't all think the same. We don't all tell our stories in the same way. Research from management consulting firm McKinsey shows less than 6% of writers, directors, and producers of U.S. produced films are black. Bernard Fields has seen that firsthand. There weren't a lot of black people on the sets that I, were, that I was going to. Fields is president of the Black Cincinnati Cinema Collective, an organization he started almost four years ago to bring artists together. When it comes time to carve out your niche, or your spot in the industry, you have to do it. Rod said, you know what, let me just get the people that have a passion matching my energy or even greater, and let's just all get together and let's create our own. Fields collaborated with the collective on Game Night, one of the short films playing tonight. Yes, uh, there we go. Uh, Alicia Redman directed it. There's no reason that you can't create your own stories. You can't create mm -hmm. uh, the things that you want to see. I just encourage all filmmakers, you know, to take the reins in their own hands and to create uh, those stories and to create the things that you want to see. Marshall says a lot of those stories are being created here in the tri-state. There's just something special about Cincinnati. And I really think that the more people see what is happening in Cincinnati, the more projects that are going to start to happen, the more grants I hope are able to go out to diverse filmmakers here and the more just kind of overall like light that is shown on the great work that's coming out of Cincinnati. The showcase will start at 7 p.m. Tickets are $20. All proceeds are going towards supporting a local feature film that explores racial profiling. You can buy those tickets at eventbrite.com. Reporting in Clifton, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.